everyone. So I'm done. I'm gonna do this quick video um because there's like sometimes you want to train at home, and I've had a lot of people asking me for some ideas for some upper body stuff you can do at home. Now, if you've got one of these resistance bands, um, that's really cool. These can do so much, but being able to do home workouts on your upper body doesn't necessarily mean you need to have one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some things you can do with some bottles of water. But just for people who have got the bands, you can do exactly the same thing with the bands as well. Um, these, you can get these on eBay for like two, three quid. Um, and there's a link on the One Body Fitness Facebook page. So if anyone wants to grab themselves one, they can. But if not, I've got two one and a half litre bottles of water here full. So these are just some things you can do now okay it's not like a really heavy weight workout but it, it will if you do enough repetitions you are going to feel your muscles working and it's better obviously than doing nothing as well and it's stuff you can do at home and then afterwards you can drink the water if it's just got empty bottles you can fill them up with water as well so we're going to go through some standing ones and then i'm going to go through some ones on the floor as well so your first one's an upright row so just to let you know your upright row is going to work all into your upper back your shoulders and your arms are obviously going to feel it as well now you can either do it both together so the elbows go higher than the wrists and the wrist goes to chest height so you can do them both together as you're coming up or you can do it one at a time when you're rowing up so you're just squeezing up into the shoulder blades and bringing it up and they're called your upright row next one's called shoulder press so you're going to take it from this position and you're going to press it up and then straight down up and again you can do it one at a time or you can do them both together the next one again is working into the shoulder so you've got your raises so you're taking it from this position slight bend in the arm up to shoulder height and then down up to shoulder height and down you can do the same thing by bringing them in front and down bringing them in front and down as well again you can do one at a time and you could also mix them up by doing one to the front one to the side one to the front one to the side when you're doing them try not to lock your arm out but also don't have a massive bend in your arm so you want your arm to just be soft and nice comfortable arm next one we're going to do is our biceps so the guns the ones at the front that are giving a kick that makes it work easier so elbows in bringing it up to the shoulder and then down bringing it up and then down you can as well do one at a time if you feel you need to and another advancement of your biceps which also works into your rotator cuff and your shoulders as well you take it halfway you take them out and then bring it in out and then in keeping the elbows tucked into the waist at all times out and then in, really making sure that you're keeping an eye on the shoulder joint, but you're keeping your biceps under contraction as well. Or you can just do your standard bicep curl as well. Next one is your tricep. So you've got two ways of doing triceps. You've got your standing extensions. So if I go from the if I go from the back there, taking it down, keeping the elbows in close to the ears, taking it back. So the elbows stay as close into the ears as they can as the arms come back. Or you can do your tricep kickbacks where you're going to lean forward, take the arm from there, extend back, bring it in, extend back. Make sure when you do this thing, you don't arch the back or hunch it over. It's a nice strong back, abdominals nice and strong. Bring it in and back, bring it in and back. So you've got your triceps as well on both sides. The next one you can do, just for a bit of cardio, you can do some punches in front of the body as well. Take the punches across getting the waist involved obviously make sure you don't throw the um throw the bottles of water couldn't think what they were called then you can also do bring the arms in you can do a squat with the shoulder press so you're bringing two things in at once you can do a squat with a punch across letting the body rotate round so squat and punch across you can just hold them by the sides as well and do some squats i suppose you're getting a bit of level body in as well you can also do what's called a wood chop so you're taking it from one side taking it in bringing it up taking it down bringing it up down and up and obviously you do that on both sides recruiting all your muscles into your body as well so we're going to go on to some lion stuff now so we're going to work our chest with a lion chest fly so you can do these exercises with dumbbells as well just to let you know obviously so you're taking it up slight bend in the arm making it like a rainbow semicircle on the way out towards the floor and bringing it straight back in and making a semicircle onto the floor bringing it straight back in 
Again, if you needed to, you could do this one at a time and then bringing it down. The next one we're gonna do, let me just shuffle you down, is your overhead. So you're taking it from your waist, taking it all the way over to the floor, from your waist, and then all the way to the floor, recouping into your upper back, into your lats. Also tricep, bicep, bit of shoulder as well, and your abdominals are getting a little bit of an extension as you go up as well. If you need to, you can do this one at a time, taking it from there and over. You can also do your tricep from here, so you get called skull crusher. So you're taking it from there, you extend it back and then up. So it's just the lower part of the arm that's moving. The upper part of the arm stays as still as it can as you take it back. And then if you wanted to do some abdominals, you could grab this, come from a sit up into a chest press as you come up. You could also, going into your obliques, tummy then, you could do some Rows side to side and also reach up to the side, reach up to the side, reach up to the side as well. So I really hope, um, I do have a lot of people like, requesting some like videos and I, as you can see I've done it in my living room and um, there's enough space and this is like abs and arms really, you know a bit of legs were thrown in. So it doesn't always require like expensive equipment. Two bottles of water, you can do the same thing with your bands, do the same thing with dumbbells, tins of beans, whatever two dogs pick them up throw the twins around maybe not that but you get the gist it doesn't have to be that expensive stuff you can just do it with household stuff so hopefully that's give you some ideas of stuff that you can do at home and um, i'd love some any feedback so if anyone enjoyed the workout or there's something else that you want to see if there's something other things that you can do at home that you'd like to see just give me a shout and um, have a lovely day and enjoy your workout but make sure you work hard